Hello everybody, this is Soldier. Welcome back to Halo 3 World Infinite Series. Let's go. I'm not trying to sound like Mario, I apologize for that. But let's go stop truth so we can get on with this game. So we can go on to Heroic and then Legendary, and then after that, we move on to the next Halo game. How far did the tank go? Stay kill. You got it. Citadel in sight. Troops are mobilizing everything they've got. Whoa. Yeah. Yeah, that's hey. Hey, I made it. Go. 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 It's inbound. So, I'm gonna show you an interesting thing, guys, with this Hornet right here. Do you see how it's floating? So, this Hornet will actually take you I count two scarabs. to Three, two, one of the scarabs, scarabs, drop you off. So, I thought that was interesting, which I did not know that's how. This, this thing will be right here waiting for you. Dude, there's my pickup. Well, I mean, you sort of did your, your job. Concentrate your fire on number two. There you go. Both scarabs down. Well done. Let's go. Activate it. The flux scales the Citadel's far wall. Activate this bridge, Oracle. How could you die by my Not Calamity! If only we had more time! Sorry, Avatar. It asked, and I answered. For a moment of safety, I loosed damnation on the stars. Yep. My faithful, stand firm. I know we gotta skip this cutscene, but it's mostly because of the point that I don't want to be here for a good while. So, come on. We already know how this cutscene played because I played all the cutscenes on easy difficulty already. Whoa. But we know the just. Pretty much this is just doing more flood food for the flood. Get infected, get infected, get infected. That dude's getting infected. Not before our eyes. I just like to leave the the flood with something, at least one of them. Ah my hammer is perfectly fine. There, 
get him, get him, get him, get him, get him. Yep, there you go. Infected. I just prefer to get all these guys infected. Yep, there goes me. Into the abyss. Alright, time for gravity hammer time. There's a dude up there. this hammer, thank you. Let's go, we gotta get out of here. Back to the lift. Find a way down. Skip the flood. I'm a thief, but I keep what I steal. Like, the cutscene takes a little bit before it actually plays, I noticed. Alright. Two more missions of normal difficulty. And then we are on heroic difficulty.
Honestly, one of my second favorite levels in any Halo game. This this mission right here. It really takes the cake. I know, uh, I think it was Rocket Sloth, I think, was saying that this was one of the one uh, top 10 worst Halo levels to play. I kind of have to disagree with them. Mostly because it's pretty straightforward of where to go. And also, I'm just going to come up here, grab this. And we're just going to pretend like we're not actually here. So yeah, I, I for this, it's a top, for me, it's the Child top five best Halo levels of all time. Now that could be a difference be between all the other Halo games, because like, there's some Halo games I have not played, and there's some that I have, but I haven't finished it. So that includes Halo Wars, Halo Wars 2, and Halo Infinite, which is, this is the whole series that's being based about. But this is a top five Halo level for me. But also because of the creepy atmosphere. And also because how this used to be the once holy city of high charity. Which is now being a hive. Which I find very interesting. Like it, it's little stuff like that, you know. Little stuff like that. Why did that not... You came for her. We exist together now. Two corpses in one grave. It's also strange how the grave mine is literally like somewhere here. Like this is him. This is literally him. But where's his actual head? That's the that's one thing that's been questioning me about to this day. Stolen if the grave mine is here memories. on high charity, where in the world is his head? The one that's actually speaking. And yet, perhaps a part of her. Remains. I mean, I don't. I know this probably is just some logical thing that his head's probably. It doesn't matter where his head is, but I just want to freaking know where his head is. Also, there is something that I was going to show you guys. Wow. What? Well, okay. Okay, well, I guess I I uh, lost train of thought what I was gonna say, so thanks. Sure. Wait, I'm testing something here. something here get stabbed with a sword you could just see like all the ins all the stuff that the flood can do they literally turn this whole city into a flood hive all because of Miranda Key's stupid decision let's just that should I think we can all agree out here on something is that Miranda Key's literally did the oopsies Going this way. Also, this guy. Um, no one seems to know who he is. Why is there no DST here? What's his name? And what's his purpose in the Halo storyline? Because I actually want to know that theory. What's his What's his backstory? And why is he here specifically? So now this is where it gets a little upsetting.
That was like simple. Time has taught me patience. But asking in you, freedom, I will know all that I possess. Like I said, I know probably a lot of people hate this mission just because of the the amount of flood, especially on legendary. But I honestly think if you know what to use against a flood, then it should be relatively easy. That's just the issue. So I know I'm not using it right now, but for the next on heroic, I'm gonna switch from either one of these two melee weapons or a. Uh, yeah, one of these two. And then I'm going to switch it for a battle rifle or a carbine. Because at least with those two, I'll be able to shoot them easy peasy. Let me just be saying, boy, that's a lot of flight over there. Now there's not. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. I have walked the edge of the abyss. I have seen your future and I have learned. Submit! End her torment and my own! Plot twist the grave mine is just trying to get information out of Katrina, but in reality, he could have just done it a long time ago. Also, why do the flood try to destroy the first reactor when I come in here? Wait a second. Never mind, I failed. My brain just came up with a very idea. Speed runner tactics. Let's go. There will be no more sadness, no more anger, no more envy. You will show me what she hides, or I shall feast upon your bones. I'm actually going to finish this mission before I end the video. Just because I actually, this mission is like, it's really good with the lore. This is UNSC AI serial number CTN0452-9. I am a monument to all your sins. That's the Gravemind speaking, that's not actually Cortana. Which is interesting. Just going to wait until I hear that line. There's two of us in here now, remember? Yeah. All right, let's go. Now, at last I see her secret is revealed. some time. This reactor? Start a chain reaction. Destroy High Charity. Come here, yo. I'm gonna hammer. Nice save, by the way, but that's not gonna...
<laughs> no way! No way that they can do that. Oh, that's that's gonna make my life even easier. Hey, watch this, watch this, watch this. Oh, that is so awesome. You heard it, Chief. That was awesome. I didn't know that that was a thing that they can do. Destroy the flood once and for all. That was awesome. Sure. made it too It's simple. This thing is so easy to use against the flood. It's crazy. Or a battle rifle. One of the two. I've got a friendly contact. Who would be crazy enough to come in here? The Arbiter. You did a lot of things. Also, can I just make, bring a mind right here? Chief let Cortana in because they thought the ring was going to get activated, which it kind of did, but the Arbiter managed to stop it. So theoretically, having Cortana on high charity was a big mistake on Chief's end. Oh yeah, good weapons. Alrighty guys, well this is going to be the end of today's video for Halo 3 Road to Infinite Series. So guys, if you guys enjoyed this episode, make sure to smash that like button and subscribe if you're new. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye guys!